When we talk about waste, rubbish, trash, whatever you want to call it, we're really talking about something in excess of our needs. Something that we have created or bought but no longer want. This is a human thing. In the natural world, there's no such thing as rubbish. There is only waste that is useful to something else. This is a closed loop. Nothing unwanted escapes as rubbish. This cycle of life and death is continuous and provides life to others. This is what a real food chain is, and it's been going beautifully for billions of years. In the cycle of human production, there isn't a cycle at all. It's a production line. There is no loop. Everything we produce has a use by date. For every wheelie bin we put out on bin night, there are a further 70 bins of waste created upstream that we never see. What if everything was made from recycled materials? What if we recycled everything we used? Could we live in a rubbish-free world? Things like these that food has gone into, that would be food wrappers as well. He's, he's doing metal. Oh. Alright, once you've got it sorted, sit back down with the rest of the group please. Alright guys, good work with picking up the rubbish. We've been talking about how we need to look at rubbish a little bit differently. Now when we have a look around, what sort of things have we collected the most of? Jade? Uh, food wrappers. Good. Yeah, I took the lesson from the Cool Australia website and we were able to come outside and have a look at the actual environment of our school and relate it to a familiar area that the kids knew. What I want you to do is I want you to have a look at your rubbish and how you can think differently about it. These are food scraps and we can put it into compost and we can feed the worms and the worm farms. What products can we turn this into? Well, we could make it into more foil by smelting it. So why are people chucking away all this rubbish if it's um, useful and we can use it again? Because, mostly because they just want the food that's inside the packaging. Waste is becoming a bigger issue and we're discovering new things to do with it all the time. So in a primary school setting we've got the students, so we let them know what they can do at home to assist with the four hours and that process. Um, you could make stuff at home, like Anzac biscuits or cookies or muesli bars and cakes to take to school. Who can remember, was tin can something that broke down quickly or did it take a long time? Henry? 450 years. 450 years, fantastic. It's coming up to Enviro Day and so I went on the Cool Australia website and found a great resource for waste and reducing waste. It would take a very long time. A very long time, let's have a look. 450 years for these plastic bits to break down. They were just amazed by how long it takes things to break down. Yeah, yeah. when they could recycle them. Now we're going to get onto our recycling robots. So think about what does it recycle? And in terms of learning about waste, what's the key outcome for the kids to take away? Yeah, I think for the age group that I had today, uh, this was a really engaging way for them to mm. start thinking about if we weren't using this stuff, where would it go? How does it affect our environment? What does your robot do? Well, first this here is the sensor. It senses the rubbish and then it tells this thing to get it and then it goes through there, sucks it up, then it goes in there and then it gets chucked in there. It goes through this tunnel see, and then it comes out this end and it goes into here and this compost in here that make it into compost which we can use. Some kids just love to construct and to build and yeah. um, you give them a whole lot of things and just let them go and they work out how to make things go together and I give them staplers, masking tape and glue because mm. some things will work and some things won't work so they have to sort of problem solve how they're going to yeah. construct it all. So if you just chuck this in the bin, where would it all go? Landfield. And what is landfill? It's a dump. It's a place where it's like one big hole and then they just trash all the rubbish there and then they've got to bury it and they've got to make another one. Which is just wasting. Why is it important to recycle? Because if they, all this went to land, landfill it would um, 
take a long time and any ones that or little bugs that thought it was food would die because they would eat it. Hello, my name is Ben and this is my litter trap. It's been part of my project for this year. There's a creek running under us right now and I don't want litter going down to it because that could lead to the oceans and litter affecting habitats and animals. We're trying to make people aware that the plastic in Crayolas aren't recyclable because people just think that they're good quality textures and we need some textures so let's go and buy some. We have made a planter box and we were thinking of selling it at a market and making more little ones. That's a moosey and that's a juicy. Juicy's is like an icy pole and moosey's is more like an ice cream thing. So we're trying to like stop people littering them from around our school and try to get them to put them in the bin. And we're not trying to actually just do it in our school, we're trying to do it in other schools if they have a canteen. We can see what rubbish is going around. When we recognise the potential value of our waste as a resource for future production, then we begin imagining a sustainable future. Australians have already embraced recycling of household paper, glass and plastic. We can now look to identify new end uses for our waste. There is of course a challenge in all of this. Can we recognise the value in all things, even if we think we have no further use for them. If we can bring ourselves to treat waste as the valuable resource that it is, we will create a closed loop. So everything keeps going around and around, just the same as in our natural world. Will we continue to destroy or can we learn to change? The choice is ours.